And this is him compared to my head. Going to put the flame all over. Whoa. <laughs> hey friends <laughs> welcome to my channel if you're new here hi i'm jenna i love to crochet plushies and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back for today's video we're going to be doing a week of crochet and i'll take you guys through everything that i've been working on a lot happens in this video we hit 100,000 subscribers oh my gosh you guys i cannot say thank you enough also what is she doing she is so crazy I got a new camera, I designed a new pattern, so many fun things going on. So with that, let's jump into today's video. Hello friends, I'm popping on because we are going to be doing something fun today. You guys might not know this about me, but I actually do love baking. I just don't have the time or the ingredients most of the time, so I don't do a lot of it. But ever since moving, we have this beautiful kitchen in our rental home, so I want to do some more baking. But today, we are going to combine two of my favorite things, baking and crochet. So let's see what I come up with. And actually, look over there on the countertop. Let's see what we have ingredients-wise to work with today. We have some red acrylic yarn and some beige acrylic yarn. So let's go ahead and mix that up in our mixing bowl and make sure we really get into that yarn. I'm going to go ahead and grab a baking sheet. And let's go ahead and put our yarn onto that. All right, I think we can pop this into the oven and let's see what we can create with this. And with a little bit of magic and a little bit of editing, I think our pastry is done. All right, let's go ahead and open up our oven and oh my gosh, what do we have here? Look at this little guy. <gasps> Ooh, it looks like we have a nice cherry pie. So let me go ahead and I am going to place him on a plate and with acrylic yarn, I don't know if you guys can see it. Wait, let me try and hold it up. I don't know if you guys can see it, but sometimes it has like a little bit of fuzzies and a quick way to get rid of those fuzzies is to actually grab a lighter and we are just going to simply put the flame all over the yarn quickly. So not to catch it on fire, but that will basically take away any fluffies and then we will let it cool down a little and voila. We are now done. We can dive in and eat this delicious cherry pie. So after making this cherry pie, I went ahead and actually made a few more baked goods. First, we have this cupcake. Super cute. And look, the frosting comes up like this. So it's really fun and kind of like a fidget toy. And then I made a chocolate chip cookie. So I actually was inspired to crochet these baked goods based off this game that I've been playing on my phone. Honestly, it's been my new obsession, not gonna lie. It's called Love and Pies. And I may or may not have also crocheted the logo. Look how cute this heart apple is. I feel like I get so many questions about burnout with crochet and how to prevent it. And honestly, my number one tip is to switch hobbies once in a while and take a complete break from crochet. And one of the hobbies that I like to switch to when I'm kind of feeling in a crochet rut is to play mobile games on my phone. And I heard everyone talking about Love and Pie, so I was like, okay, I gotta give it a try. And it did not disappoint. And this actually is the perfect time to talk about today's sponsor, Love and Pies. So in case you guys didn't already know, Love and Pies is a casual, heartwarming mobile game that has super cozy and chill vibes. I personally love games that have a storyline to them and Love and Pies has a really cute narrative. So basically the game is centered around the main character, Amelia, who is a newly divorced mom who decides to move from the big city and returns to the countryside where her family's cafe is, but she discovers that it was burned to the ground. So throughout the game, you're trying to solve the mystery of who burned the cafe to the ground and you're also working on rebuilding it. So when it comes to the actual gameplay, there's a few different aspects of it. One aspect of the game is where you merge certain baked goods together and help serve the customers of the cafe. And then another aspect is actually rebuilding and redecorating the cafe itself. Being a creative myself, one of the first things that stood out to me when playing Love and Pies is just how great the artwork is. The attention to detail is just crazy and all of the graphics make playing the game super fun and aesthetic. And even though I play Love and Pies to take a break from crochet, I find myself inspired by all of the graphics because I then go and crochet 
buy baked goods and other items from the game. So honestly, it's been a win-win. So if you want to get cozy and download Love and Pies, there's actually a free gift for all new users. All you have to do is click the link in my description box to download Love and Pies and you'll receive 200 energy and 50 gems delivered right to your in-game inbox. So the next time you're feeling a little burnt out from crochet and you want to switch gears, try playing Love and Pies. All right, next on the agenda, I am in the process of making my other Patreon rewards. I finally decided on the pattern that I'm going to go with this month. Let me show you guys. How adorable are these no sew ducks with hats? Like, look at them! Oh my goodness, so, so cute. So this pattern comes with the three different options for the three different ducks and then the three different hats. I personally love the bucket hat with the hearts. So I think I'm going to give all of the ducks that hat. But I went ahead and already made the ducks, so I went with the chick and the mallard! And how cute are they? Wait, let me get the other two. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, this is so cute. Look at the group shot. Big group hug check. Oh my gosh, they're so adorable. But okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start making their bucket hats, and I'm really excited to show you guys once the bucket hats are done because it'll be such a cute group shot. So the new season of Bridgerton just dropped and of course I just binged all four episodes. I'm sad that they didn't release all of the episodes all at once so there were only four episodes in this first release. But overall I'm happy that the season released finally because we've all been waiting like over a year for it. I don't want to give away any spoilers so I won't say too much about the season but I will say the first four episodes are good and the last episode definitely leaves you on a cliffhanger. I think the next batch of episodes will come out in like June so we only have a few more weeks to wait. I think out of the three seasons so far though my favorite season is still season one with Daphne. I really have to read the Bridgerton books. I didn't know this but Bridgerton is actually based off of books. So I think reading the books would be really fun because a lot of people say the books are different than the TV series. Okay I just got done the bucket hat. Look how cute it is! Look how cute! I am not gonna lie to you guys, I did mess up a little because the bucket hat called for two rounds of, um, what was it, 48, and I totally missed that, so you were supposed to do the two rounds of 48 before you put the ruffles on, so my bucket hat is like a little shallow, it's more like a, a bucket plate, but um, I did it anyway. I committed to it, so I was like, you know what? We're gonna see how it looks. And I think it looks fine without the two rounds of 48. Like, you can still tell this is a hat, so we're gonna go with it. I think, though, I wanna explore and do the other two hat options, because why not, right? This one's super cute, so maybe I'll repeat this one since I have four ducks total, but for the other two ducks, I'm gonna explore and I'll do the tulip hat and the other styled bucket hat. Okay, so I just got done making all four hats and I ended up remaking the pink one because it was bothering me. After I made the blue version of the pink hat and I made it correctly, I was like, okay, I should just remake the pink one or it would bother me. So here are the two wavy hats. I still have to put like the cute little heart decals on it, but for right now, the hats are done. And then these are just the regular styled bucket hats. I decided not to do the tulip hat just because I didn't like how it was like off-centered on the head. I wanted something that would just go directly on the heads of the ducks. So let's go ahead and put on the hats. Oh, just drop one. Oh my gosh, I am so buttered finger right now. Like I keep dropping stuff. Okay, so for the little mallard, you're gonna give him the cute little wavy bucket hat. The correct one now, it is correctly made. And oh my gosh, it's so cute. Here's this one. And then let me put on the blue version, other mallard. Oh my gosh, so, so cute. It kind of reminds me of like a little bonnet. So here are the two little mallards. And then for the chicks, I have one chick will get the lavender bucket hat and here we go super cute and the bucket hat also kind of has like a wave to it since it's essentially just increases in the front super super cute you guys and then I got the other chick to wear this like pink lemonade bucket hat oh my gosh they are so cute oh I dropped the chick oh my gosh and here are the two chicks Super, super cute. Okay, I don't think I can get a group shot of me holding all of the 
ducks because the hats do come off they're like not secured on you can take them on and off as you choose so it might be a little hard to get all of them in here hold on i'm almost there okay kind of <laughs> wait there you go so cute okay well these are going to go off to my patrons thank you so much shout out to my patrons once again so today is one of those crazy productive days where I'm just like, let me try and get as much done as I can. So I'm working on a new pattern. And yes, I know what you guys are thinking. Like, Jenna, didn't you just come out with your like unicorn pattern? Yes. But every month I have to come up with at least two patterns for my Patreon rewards. So I'm currently working on June's rewards. The unicorn will be pattern number one. And then for the second pattern, do you guys want to guess? I'll give you a hint. It is an amphibian. Ooh. I feel like that pretty much gave it away, but let me show you guys. I'm making a jumbo pillow frog. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not like a huge frog girl. Like, I never thought they were cute. I never had a frog stuffed animal, but for some reason in the crochet community, frogs are so popular. And like, this guy is pretty cute, not gonna lie. I did try to model him after a squishmallow, especially with the body shape. I think I did really well. I just kind of like eyeballed it. I wanted his body to be like an egg shaped, and it is versus like just a regular circle and yeah i just added his two little eyeballs i think i might try and add some blush under the eye because blush always makes them look super cute and then maybe i'll do like a little white belly spot but i feel like the white belly will be optional but it's always nice to include in case people want to you know put a little belly on their frogs and then i think we'll call it a day super super cute I will say he did take some trial and error just to achieve like the perfect egg shape. So I'm very satisfied with how it came out. But hug check, oh my gosh, he is massive also. Like this is my body and this is Mr. Frog. Like he's basically taking up my entire torso in like, what is this? The chest area, chest and torso. Like, and this is him compared to my head. So he's pretty big. I love him so much. But okay, I will check in with you guys once I finish his belly and put on his blush. And of course, like a smile because you got to have a smile. Okay, I just got done sewing on the belly of the frog and I'm obsessed, you guys. Here's the finished froggy. I added a mouth too and he is just giving so much attitude. I love it. Ooh, I'm out of breath there. I'm so excited. Look at his cute white belly. He's so so huggable i am so obsessed with him like look at that look at the squish <laughs> i am really really happy with how he turned out i guess the slanted mouth kind of looks like a smile so it's like he could be sassy but he could also be smiling he is such a cute huggable friend and i am so happy with him if you're a patron of mine you will be getting this pattern for free in june and then for everybody else this will be available on my etsy and my website by the time this video comes out so just check the link in my description box so for today's project, I think I want to make another unicorn for my new unicorn pattern. It is releasing in one week. So today is May 20th and it's releasing on May 28th. So I wanted to make another variation of it. And this is the yarn that I picked out. So this is Little Bunny yarn from Premiere. For people who usually watch my channel, you guys know I love this fluffy yarn. Like look how pretty and fluffy it is. So I think the body of the unicorn will be this yellow color. And then for the accent colors, I think I'm going to go with this light pink. I'm going for like a pink lemonade theme, like a summery, really cute unicorn. And then for the hooves, I am going with this nice lavender color. It's always fun to mix like fuzzy and regular chenille yarn. It really makes a unique look for your plushie. So I'm excited for this new unicorn. I don't know what colors I'm going to do for like the mane and the tail but we'll see once I get the body done what colors would look best okay so this is what we have so far honestly I don't know if I like the colors together uh, I don't know if like the yellow body will be too much like I don't know but so far uh, I guess like the yellow and the pink goes well but now I'm like rethinking the hoof color but 
we're just gonna go with it we're gonna trust the process once again but i'm gonna stop recording because i actually need to pay attention whenever you use fluffy yarn it's like crocheting blind you have to strictly go off feeling and if you lose track of the round that you're on or the stitch that you're on it's all over like you cannot backtrack so i'm gonna go focus so coming on to give an update on the fluffy unicorn, I just got done crocheting the body and the body is the longest part of this pattern so I feel good getting this done. Um, it is definitely smaller than Parfait Chunky but I think the unicorn will still turn out pretty big. And then I also got done making the four legs. So this is the color combination that I picked out. We're doing hot pink hooves with the little yellow accents and then the body is white. So now I will be working on the head and the snout and then yeah, I think all that's left is then just like the little stuff like the ears, the horn and all the frills. I think I will try to do the horn and the frills in Parfait Chunky though. So we'll still get that like cross yarn look. It won't be entirely fluffy, but I think that way it will look good and it will give it more like structure, if that makes sense. We're just going with it. Okay guys, we are at this point with our fluffy unicorn. Oh my goodness, look at her. She is turning out so adorable. I love with the fluffy yarn that you can't see where you sewed pieces on so it really does look like all one plushy, like not multiple parts sewn onto each other. Look at her! Okay, so all I have left is the horn and the mane and tail and like I mentioned earlier, I think I'm going to go with Parfait Chunky just to switch up the fluffy look so we'll have a mix of Parfait Chunky and fluffy and ah! She's turning out so good. And then of course I need to add some eyes to her. But yeah, we're getting there. Good morning, friends. Oh my goodness, the fluffy unicorn is done and it turned out so good. I'm so happy. I actually went ahead and made this because part of me wanted to give up after the first attempt with the colors being ugly. And then as I was crocheting this unicorn, I was like, oh my gosh, working with fluffy yarn is a lot. I haven't made a fluffy project in so long, so I kind of forgot how much like attention and energy goes into it but it's fine we finished her and let me show you here she is look at her she is the fluffiest unicorn ever so i went with kind of similar coloring to the original unicorn that i made in parfait junkie but i just like love the soft colors and i feel like that's why i went with it you know the soft pastel pink the blue the hot pink Oh my gosh, you guys, I am obsessed with her. Let's like just take a moment and take her all in. And then I also did Parfait Chunky for the horn. And I'm glad I did because I think the mix of Parfait Chunky with the fluff, it definitely creates a really cool look. And just like look how fluffy she is. I hope the camera's picking up the fluffiness of this yarn. Again, this is Little Bunny by Premier. I highly recommend. But yeah, I used a five millimeter hook and she did turn out still pretty big. Like this is pretty jumbo. And look at her, oh my goodness. Let me grab the other unicorn to show you guys a size comparison, but they're pretty similar. Okay, so here are the two unicorns side by side. Honestly, very similar in sizing. Just this one, the Parfait Chunky, is a tad bigger. And like the snout and everything is more pronounced. I kind of like how her snout looks a little smaller. She's like a little baby. But yeah, oh my gosh, you guys. I am obsessed. I love this pattern so much. And I'm so excited for it to release next week. By the time this video comes out, though, it'll already be out. So if you want to make your own jumbo unicorn, definitely head to the link in my description. It's on my Etsy and my website. Morning friends, coming on because I made a few more plushies and I wanted to show you guys. So first I made this strawberry cow and it's basically just my regular cow pattern but I made it the two-toned pinks. So it is very cute, I definitely like the pink color tones but I made this for one of my patrons. And then next, I made this really pretty velvet purple butterfly. And this butterfly is also for one of my patrons. And it is a very special butterfly for Maria and Samantha 
this butterfly is the logo of the MLD foundation so I was really happy to make it for them and I haven't used velvet yarn in so long but this purple specifically matched the logo so well so I decided to make it in velvet and lastly I made this smaller version of my jumbo pillow frog pattern and I basically just wanted to test out how this pattern would look in a smaller version because I initially designed it to be jumbo but for this frog I used a five millimeter hook parfait chunky which is a size six yarn and yeah it turned out pretty cute I'd say this is a really nice size like it's not too small not too big and let me get the jumbo version to show you guys the size comparison okay so here's the jumbo one so as you can see it is crazy how much of a difference hook size and yarn size can make because it's the exact same pattern the only thing I changed was the hook and the yarn so this is the extra jumbo version and here is the smaller version let me know in the comments below what version you guys prefer, like the regular size or the jumbo. They're both super cute together though. Shay is like passed out. Look at that mouth. It's like open. <laughs> she loves sleeping on Callie's bed. Look at that. Such a little cat for a big bed. Good morning friends! Oh my gosh, I just want to say the lighting looks so good right now because typically I have windows sitting right behind this camera and I usually don't open them all the way because the light sometimes bothers my eyes but right now it's in the morning and the sun isn't completely out and I open the blinds completely and I just have to say like the lighting is so good. I feel like going forward I should just open up the blinds like all the way when filming because this lighting it usually isn't that good. Good. But okay, getting sidetracked. I'm coming on because I'm making a jumbo watermelon turtle for my customer Belinda. Shout out Belinda. I have talked about Belinda before, but she is the teacher from Australia. She has ordered so many wonderful plushies from me, and this is just another one to add to her collection. And I was super excited to make it because a watermelon turtle has been on my list for so long. But for me, it's like if I don't have a valid excuse to make it, it'll just be one of those things that are like, oh, Oh, that would be cute to make and then I don't actually make it but okay let me show you guys what I have so far so here she is oh my gosh I love her fins the most like it's just like a little watermelon slice I kind of struggled with picking out what green to go with like I wasn't sure if I wanted to do like if you see up there I have like more of a seafoam mint green I also have this green right here in the corner it's more like a lime green and I feel like those greens were kind of too harsh and then back here I have an emerald green and I was like eh, I don't think emerald no so I ultimately went with this sage color and I'm actually really glad that I did because I feel like it's the perfect color to go with the hot pink and this is the front of her super super adorable so her shell doesn't have seeds I was thinking of adding the seeds on live with you guys instead of doing like a more random assortment of seeds I think I'll just do one more unified all the way around the shell but yeah once I add the seeds this watermelon turtle will be ready to go off to Australia and of course we're giving her a little early of a hug check but it's fine look how big she is this is the same size as my jumbo sunflower turtles but okay let's go ahead and sew on her seeds Okay, she's done! Oh my gosh, how adorable is she with her little seeds? Oh my gosh! I'm in love, you guys. I'm so glad Belinda asked me to make this because literally it has been on my list for so long. And then the final hug check so cute you guys I also wanted to come on because I recently invested in a new camera and I'm really excited because this new camera is super small and I really got it because I wanted to do more vlogging I know you guys love my crochet vlogs and what I noticed that other creators do here on YouTube like I feel like they have a bunch of different angles included in their vlogs like whenever they're like sitting down and working or in my case like when I'm crocheting usually there's like a few different angles going Going on but I only have like my one main camera and it's kind of like bulky and stuff so 
I invested in this new camera. It's called the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And this is like the actual size of the camera. So as you can see, it is pretty small and compact, but it also has this really cool feature where this camera lens thing basically spins around so you can film in both like selfie like front mode or portrait i think or i don't know what it's called but or you can film like outward like if you were using the back camera of your phone so i'm really excited about this camera because i think i will be able to include more angles in my vlog maybe i can also do some more vlogging in general like me going to michael's or something something fun like that and then also for my instagram and my shorts i feel like all of that content i can film on this camera now because the quality will be so much better because i heard from other creators like if you use your front camera for reels and stuff it's not the best quality like the best quality camera on your phone is usually your back but then the problem with that is like you can't see yourself when filming so that's why i ultimately decided to get this guy so maybe for the rest of this vlog i will actually switch over and use this camera i'm really excited to see if it's like better quality and kind of just like easier to use but yeah i'll give you guys my full honest opinion later on hey guys oh my gosh i am filming on the new camera it is so cool i think like if i move or maybe not it should basically like track my face if i start moving around but wait let's test it also, Shay is like on the ground right now, meowing. I don't know if you can hear her. Wait, why isn't it? Wait, it's not working. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of troubleshooting that will have to be done. Oh, okay, now it will follow me. Whoa, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. I feel like I can do so much more now with my vlogs because it will literally follow wherever I go. And you guys normally don't see like my whole office space, so you will now be able to with this new camera. So I'm really excited to get into a new era of vlogging and just overall improved video quality for this channel. So stay tuned. I feel like I can do a lot more now with my channels. I'll also be giving like a full review because I know a bunch of you commented on Instagram how you were also like super curious about this camera and wanted to know if it was worth investing in. But so far, it is so cool. All right, I'm gonna sit down and film a tutorial. I wonder if I should use this camera for it, maybe? But okay, cool. I will see you guys in a bit. Good morning, friends. Happy June 3rd. It is Monday and I'm coming on because we are 20 subscribers away from 100,000. I just feel so emotional right now and I knew I had to like hop on the camera to capture this moment but like I am just so so thankful and so grateful to have a platform where I'm able to share my love for crochet and help inspire others to start their own crochet journey. Like whenever I read a comment saying that I've inspired you or helped you or provided comfort or just anything like that, it really warms my heart and makes me so, so happy. This is the whole point of this channel. I really just wanted to share my creations, the crochet process, the magic behind this amazing world, this amazing hobby. And I am just so, so thankful for all of your support. I know some of you have been with me since I started this channel and I just want to say thank you thank you thank you for sticking around and seeing this channel grow I am so excited to see what the future holds I have a lot of fun things in store especially the top secret project that I've been working on since last November and I'm getting ready to share the news with you guys soon so I can't wait for that but seriously thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me and this channel I can't believe we're going to hit this milestone like it feels unreal I'm like refreshing the page every second and I feel like it's going to be one of those things where I'll be at like 99,999 subscribers and then someone will unsubscribe. <laughs> Or I'll hit 100k and then someone will unsubscribe. That has happened to me before on Instagram, but it's fine. I'm just gonna like step away for a little. I'm gonna finish crocheting my little apple turtle. That's what I'm working on right now. A viewer actually reached out to me and she fell in love with the apple turtle that I showed you guys in a previous video. I'll insert it here. And she's from the UK, so I always love making plushies for my international friends. It's so special to me that my plushies will go international and just like be represented all around the world. So she really 
really wanted the apple turtle, but we decided to go with a mini apple turtle design. So I'm really excited. This is what the little shell is looking like so far. And then I also got done all of the fins and the little head. So we're almost there. We'll probably wrap this up in a bit. And of course, I'll show you guys the finished product, but I haven't made a mini apple turtle yet. So that's why I was really excited by this order. Okay, quick outfit change because I was overheating. Um, oh my gosh, I just refreshed. We're at 99997. So we are three away and I'm just giving it a few minutes because I feel like the next time I refresh, we will hit 100K. Ah! I'm so excited, you guys. When I first started my channel last March, I really didn't know what to expect. Like I've never been on YouTube. I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to have a channel, fun fact, but I was just like too scared. I didn't want to like put myself out there. But crochet really pushed me to start a YouTube because I just felt so inspired and I loved everything I was making. I loved the process and I wanted to share it with others. So I'm so glad I did, but ah, I cannot believe it, you guys. Okay. I'm gonna try to refresh. Let's see. 998, oh my gosh, two people. Like two minutes has gone by. Should I refresh it? I feel like people are gonna unsubscribe. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna do it. 998 still. <laughs> So I just got done making the baby apple turtle and oh my gosh, look how small she is. Also, look at that baby face. So, so cute. But yeah, I absolutely love how she turned out. Her little apple stem and leaf are giving me life. Like, so, so cute. And look, little baby hug check. She's so tiny. So Shell, if you're watching, I hope you enjoy your little baby apple turtle. And thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to make this little baby for you. Ah, oh my gosh, we hit it. Oh my gosh, it feels so weird. There we go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm literally so shocked. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. This is so, so crazy. I can't wait to do an amazing giveaway too. By the time this video comes out though, I feel like the giveaway would have already happened. But oh my gosh, thank you guys so, so much. Whoa. Whoa, 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 get the hundred, bro. <laughs> ah, yay. Do you guys see Shay? She's still hanging out on my shelf. She actually has been like loving that spot recently. Like she's been sleeping there. And it honestly is very picturesque like to have a little cat sleeping on your shelf, but I don't know, she's up to no good. But anyway, I think we're gonna call the video here, friends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just wanted to say thank you so much again for 100,000 subscribers. All of your love and support over the past year has been honestly amazing. I'm so glad that you guys enjoy watching my videos and that I'm able to inspire or provide you some crochet comfort. So until next time, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.